So guys, in this video, we're still talking about um, GDP chapter five, and we're going to talk about GDP deflator. So remember, so far in this chapter, we learn what is what is GDP. We learn the definition. We learn what do we include and what do we exclude from GDP. We also talk about different components of GDP. So we take GDP and uh, separate it kind of in the different kind of groups or categories. Uh, then we talk about what is the difference between real GDP and nominal GDP. And after we calculate real and nominal GDP, we're going to learn about um, GDP deflator. So GDP deflator is going to measure the overall level of prices. Um, in our economy. So in order to calculate GDP deflator, we're going to use, um, you know, the, for, the following or the formula that is here in front of you. We're going to take nominal GDP divided by real GDP, and we're going to multiply it by 100. And GDP deflator, it's going to be an index. It's not going to have any measures like percentage or, you know, dollar signs or dollar units attached to it. So it's going to be an index. So therefore, there is no units attached to it. And then after we calculate GDP deflator, we're going to use this GDP deflator to calculate inflation rate. Since, once again, GDP deflator reflect only overall level of prices in our economy, then we can use this measure to calculate inflation rate. Because remember, inflation rate, this is um, how the level of prices in the economy is actually changes. So keep this formula in mind. And we're going to work with um, kind of this slide. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to calculate first GDP deflator for year 2014. Remember, the formula was that we need to take nominal GDP, and I'm just going to put nominal, divided by real GDP. So we take nominal GDP by real GDP, and I'm going to add over here, we're going to take year 2014 over here, and real GDP for year 2014 over here. And then we're going to take this and multiply by 100. So once again, make sure that you keep the same year when you calculate GDP deflator. If it is GDP, G, GDP deflator for year 2014, you need to take nominal for year 2014 over real for year 2014. So we take nominal that was actually 6,000. So this, this information over here in front of you, 6,000 divided by 6,000 multiply by 100. And what are we going to get over here? We're actually going to have 100, isn't it? So once again, guys, since 2014, if you remember, it was our base year, okay? From this, we're learning that in base year, GDP is all the time going to be 100 because our real and nominal GDP, they were actually the same. So therefore, in the base year, remember from the previous uh, video, from the previous calculations that we uh, did, our year 2014 was a base year, so therefore in the base year, our GDP deflator is going to be 100. It's an index. It's sort of like our benchmark. Here you go. In this year, the level of prices was at this level, and this is our benchmark. So next one, it's going to be GDP deflator for year 2015. And what are we going to do over here, guys? I'm going to make it just N. N stands for nominal. Nominal for year 2015 divided by real. If you were um, actually in the classroom, this is what I usually put on the board. N over R. So nominal 15 over real 2015. Remember, multiply by 100. And then we're going to take these numbers. Remember, that's what we calculated in our previous example. So we're going to take 8250 divided by 7200, multiply by 100. And if we're going to calculate it, then um, this is going to be 114.6. 114.6. So guys, again, remember, what is the GDP deflator tells us? GDP deflator, it's an index that reflects the level of prices in the economy. So once again, it's an index that reflects the level of prices in our economy. So therefore, if you're an economist and you're only looking, you don't have 
any information you just have here you go these two gdp deflators in front of you what kind of conclusion can you make you know that year 2014 is a base year so you look in the gdp deflator increase from year 2014 to 2015 you can tell that you know what level of prices in the economy between two years has actually increased okay now it's at 114.6 level if to compare with the base year okay and the last one gdp deflator deflator so everybody following my word you understand what i'm writing over here for year 2016 usually if i calculate anything i recommend you write down the formula first so i'm going to write the the formula first so it's nominal gdp for year 2016 divided by real gdp for year 2016 multiply by 100 remember all these numbers in front of us so we're going to take 10,800. we already calculated in the previous videos um divided by 8400 by 8400 remember multiply by 100 it's an index and if we're going to calculate it it's actually going to be 128.6 so just once again what does it mean 128.6 it means that the price level in the economy if to compare with the base year has actually increased so the benchmark was at 100 level now it is at 128.6 level okay so this is what it means remember because gdp deflator it doesn't take the quantity a kind of effect into um you know i guess into picture okay so this gdp deflator only reflects the level of prices in our economy i'm going to take a step over here and i want you guys to understand something so let me see if i can actually do that so let's suppose um what i'm going to do i'm going to take um i'm going to write down or write out let's suppose let's see gdp deflator and let's suppose i'm going to do it for year 2016 for year 2016 so remember this is nominal over real for year 2016 isn't it for year 2016 when we calculate gdp um uh, i'm sorry when we calculate nominal gdp for year 2016 what do we do we take price of year 2016 multiplied by quantity of year 2016 isn't it and when we calculate real gdp for year 2016 what do we do we take price of a base year and in this example it was year 2014 and multiply by quantity of a current year isn't it and this was quantity for year 2016 so pretty much i took this gdp deflator for year 2016 and i kind of like wrote down the you know all little components okay multiply by 100 it's supposed to be here okay so we take nominal 16 over real 16 how do we calculate nominal price 16 over quantity 16 how do how do we calculate um real gdp price of a base year that was year 14 over the quantity of the current year year 16 do you see that quantities here are actually cancel out each other and therefore really in reality gdp deflated this is just the ratio of these two prices okay so therefore gdp deflator is going to reflect the price level okay if to compare with the base year okay and the very last thing so keep this a kind of in mind so we have 114.6 and 128 the last thing what we're going to do with this we're going to calculate inflation rate and i believe so guys the last thing what we'll have to do is to calculate inflation rate um general formula for inflation rate between two years between year one and year two is going to be gdp deflator not nominal gdp or real gdp we take gdp deflator for year two minus gdp deflator for year one and divide by gdp deflator of year one 
multiply by 100. So let's suppose, let's suppose if I had here two years, so we calculate inflation rate between year 15, year 2015 and 2016. Then I would put over here GDP deflator year 2016 minus GDP deflator of year 2015 divided by GDP deflator of year 2015. Okay, so our previous example, I hope you have maybe your PowerPoints or, you know, some kind of um, notes in front of you. So inflation rate, inflation rate um, for year. So uh, remember, we started from year 2014. That was our base year. Can we calculate inflation rate between year 2013 and 14? The answer is no, because we don't know information for year 2013. Can we calculate inflation rate between year 14 and 15? And the answer is yes. So once again, I'm going to put over here. This is going to be deflator for year 2015 minus deflator for year 2014 divide by deflator year 2014 remember multiply by 100 so if uh, you recall um, we just calculated uh, a second ago it was something like this 114 i believe 0.6 that was deflator for year 2015 minus 100 because in the base year GDP deflator is all the time 100 divided by 100, multiply by 100, and it's going to be perfect 14.6%. It's going to be perfect 14.6%. So guys, remember, uh, calculating inflation rate um, year right after the base year, it's very, very easy. Okay, you kind of like taking, don't do that, still write down the formula, you know, you take the difference between the two um, GDP deflators. Don't do that because you're going to make a mistake. You're going to make a mistake somewhere. Please write the, the, down the formula all the time. So, and then inflation rate, inflation rate between year 15 and 16, again, formula, we're going to take deflator for year 16. This is our year two. Remember, this is year one, year two. So deflator, year two, year 16 minus deflator, year 2015, or this is our year one. So this is 15 and then divide by deflator of year 2015. Please don't forget that a lot of times, a lot of times, or most of the time, people use here a base year. You take deflator for year 2014 and you just divide it by 100. That's not right. Okay, you need to take deflator for year 2015. Multiply by 100 over here. So uh, what are the numbers? I believe it was like 128.6 minus 114.6 divided by 114.6 multiply by 100 and if i'm not mistaken it's going to be something like 12 point something 12.2 percent so this is inflation for um year 2016 or between 15 and 16. so guys please look at these formulas all the time when you calculate something when you're doing your homework uh, when you're doing practice problems i all the time encourage my students write down the formula first put all the correct years over here and then plug in the numbers over here write down the formula first put all this correct you know little kind of cheat sheet for you over here okay you need to know you know what year are you using what measure what variable for what year you're using and then plug in the numbers and 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 um, get your final result okay guys i think that's it for uh, chapter five i might go to post a couple of more videos you know um analyzing gdp for the united states um but uh, you all uh, please crush it i really hope that after this video and all the videos that you watched you know um, more about GDP and I wish you all the best. Good luck and um, I'll see you in the next video.